So guys, this is the Zina diode. The Zina diode is a special diode which conducts current when forward biased, but it does not conduct current when it is biased until you reach the Zina breakdown voltage. Now, this Zina is used in a SMPS power supply to regulate the voltage. That is to make sure the voltage at the output remains constant. This is where the Zina diode is used in the power supply. You can see in my diagram here, this is the transformer. Here is the transformer. This is the scotch diode, which is used to rectify the output of this transformer. Here is the scotch diode. This is the smoothing capacitor at the output, and this is the smoothing capacitor. And now this is the output cables, which is carrying 5 volts. So, this is the output, 5 volts. This resistor is connected to the, is connected to the positive terminal of the output here. And there's this other resistor which is connected to the ground, forming a voltage divider. This voltage divider is used to scale this output 5 volts to a certain voltage which is lower than the output. So, this voltage divider, it reduces the voltage to a certain ratio. So, this voltage divider in our case, the resistors will be chosen in such a way that they are reducing the voltage to 4.2 volts, which is necessary for the Zener diode to conduct so that there is a signal in this line here. This is the switching device, which is PWM controller. You can see, and this is our square wave input to the transformer. This is the PWM controller here, you can see it. When you plug your mobile charger to power, or your SMPS power supply to power, there is 5 volts at the output. When you connect a load, like your mobile phone to the charger, the mobile phone or the load you connect will draw current. When the load draws current, this voltage will tend to drop to like 4 volts. When this voltage drops, at this voltage divider here, the voltage which was 4.2 volts when this was 5 volts will go below this 4.2 volts. When this voltage goes below 4.2 volts, it will mean that this Zener diode will not conduct because it is below its breakdown voltage. So there will be no signal in this line and this pin of the PWM controller will become low. When this pin becomes low, the PWM controller will sense that the voltage at the output has dropped and it will increase its duty cycle. By increasing its duty cycle, it will increase the switching to the transformer. The switching to the transformer once increased, the voltage at the, at the output of the transformer will be increased and that voltage will become 5 volts. After this voltage now is 5 volts, the ratio to the voltage divider will again rise to 4.2 volts. When the voltage again raises to 4.2 volts, the Zina diode will again start conducting and this pin will be high. When this pin is high, the PWM controller will sense that the voltage is okay is 5 volts at the output and it will continue switching so that is how it works so this happens like a thousand times in a second this happens very many times per second so that the output voltage remains 5 volts no matter what load you connect at the output so this is the feedback of the switched mode power supply which ensures that the output voltage remains 5 volts no matter the load connected at the output. There is also a separation. This is the low voltage side which is 5 volts and this side is 300 volts DC. So there is this separation between the two sides and there should be no direct connection between the secondary side which is low voltage side and the high voltage side. So for that here there is a device which is called the optocoupler. This optocoupler is used to separate the power connection between the primary side and the secondary side. The voltage divider drops the voltage to a ratio given by this formula here. 